Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Comedic Gaming. I'm Flute5311, and welcome back to the Reef. You know, as an Awoken who's been repping the Queen for a long time, it's always good to come back home. Good home for the holidays, right? Right. So let's go down here. Thursday. Way down here, hanging out. That's been here in a long time. Let's see what he's got. Well, I guess it's only appropriate that you've got the Telesto. That's uh, cool. So let's go through what we got here. For the Titans, you've got the Ruin Wings. I really like that weapon. Uh, that that those gauntlets. Their heavy weapon drops more often, and they continue uh, when they, each box that you open up, they've got more ammo in it. Uh, I think it's a fantastic one for PVE. Um, one of my favorites, to be to be honest. Uh, the Skybird is Annex. Eh, I don't like it for a couple reasons here. So chance to uh, create orbs on heavy weapon kills. That's good. Um, when full superpower orbs can be picked up and grant special ammo, I do not like that. I do not like the, the, to waste orbs that I've got sitting on the ground. And you gain, you know, you gain more melee energy on orb pickups that kind of synergizes really nice and well. But I don't like it. Just to be honest with you, I like having be able to pick up my super again right out right away. Then we have the stag for the warlock. Once per life, you get a fast supercharge when all teammates are dead and a chance to spawn with an overshield. I, again, you know, you have to be dead for this thing to be useful, which is kind of lame, but, you know, it's whatever, I guess. You know, it is good that your shields start immediately after orb pickup, but if you're dead and you come back to life, then all your orbs are going to be gone anyway, so I don't know. I, I don't like it. It looks cool as hell, but I, <laughs> I don't like it. Um, so on to the weapon of the week, the Telesto. I really, really like this weapon. Um, it's I realize it's not the greatest, hopefully, with them getting buffed. Um, it'll be good. It'll be better. But I, I like it. I really enjoy it. It does have battle runner, which is nice. It gets you moving right, nice and fast. Um, but here it is. Uh, Multi-kills of this weapon spawn orbs for your allies. So if you haven't had the Telesto yet, if you haven't had a chance to get it yet, when you shoot it... Um, you shoot basically a bunch of little purple balls out because it's void, and they attach to their to your enemies, and then they explode afterwards. Um, so it's you know in PvP it tends to get a lot of post mortem kills, <laughs> like the impact of it. Like you don't you know it's not like a normal fusion rifle when you hit them with it they don't kind of disintegrate. It seems that they get staggered with all these little balls, and all of a sudden they just kind of blow up. Um, so this perk does really, really well when you've got um, mobs that kind of rush at you, and you can just spray a bunch down, and they just all explode, and you're making orbs all over the place. So it's a fun little fusion rifle. Um, it's just, it's not that great in PvP, uh, I'll be honest, but it is, it's fun. Um, I like it, especially with, with the Void Burn. Um, it's a pretty fun weapon to use. So I'd pick it up if you don't have it. I'd recommend it. Um, and then we have all the other normal junk floating around here. So there you go. That does it for Xur. Uh, week, what is this? Week 65. So there we go. I'd do it. I think this is a pretty decent week. You've got two new exotics that we haven't got before. The Telesto, which I like, and then Heavy Wings, which I think are always a good bet. So there you go. That's my suggestions for Week 65 Xur. Thanks everybody for tuning in, and to all you gamers out there, stay committed.